Hi. Welcome back to the best backrooms channel on YouTube with no bias or anything like that. I'm Brugley, and in this level explained video, I'm going to be going over backrooms level 627 or fade into reality. This one is amazing. It's liminal. It's horrifying. And, and I just ran out of words to use. Anyways, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Hopefully you enjoy. So, level 627 of the back rooms is classified as... Wait, there's no classification graphic. What do I do now? I guess the video wins here. Let me just make one up real quick. It's classified as a class Faded, and is moderately difficult due to its environment, and another thing that I'll talk about later. The level takes the appearance of a very small, indestructible room that's made out of porcelain tiles. Think of the tiles in the pool rooms. These are kind of like that. The level is widely known for its dark and strange and depressive energy and vibe that it gives off to people who are stuck here. That feeling seems to come from inside of the walls and in the dark areas of this level, which is not cool at all. The level's actual tiles are just slightly larger than the pool room's tiles, and they have more of a bluish hue to them, which means that this level is not a sub-level of the pool rooms. Now, other than the tiles, there's also a few sinks and stalls that have been seen, but uh, that's not the main thing. Inside this level, there is an old 80s-style plasma television, but as you can tell, it's no normal TV. No chance. This one is leaking a vibrant, iridescent, static-like substance. It's melting, pretty much. Where its screen used to be is now this flow of static, but I'll talk more on that later. You're going to want to stick around for it. It's crazy. So level 627, like many levels of the back rooms, has some strange properties, specifically two of them named separation and copying, which both of them are just exactly how their name sounds. So if you get in here to this level alone, it seems to produce an exact copy of you that follows you around the entire time you're here. It won't say anything. It'll just stand there and watch you. That's called the copying effect. Now, the separation effect happens if you get sent to the level in a group of people. And if you do get sent in a group, if that happens, then you will be separated from the group, and all of you will be sent to your own different copy of level 627. The lighting inside of this small room is pretty limited, since most of it comes from the leaking TV in front of you. But there's also some dingy light source from the ceiling that works sometimes and doesn't work other times. Other amenities in this level include there being drinking water, which can come out of the faucets on this level. That's right, the drinking water works, but the TV is melting. Classic backroom stuff. But to be honest, that's about the only good thing that's here on this level, because the level itself smells like mold and mildew, and it feels stale and disgusting. Now, there's no gross standing water or anything that would give off the smell. It's just that the entire level seems to just emanate that smell. Just nasty rot. Now for the exact layout of the level. The level tends to be consistent and unchanging, which is nice because a lot of levels in the back rooms change their layout or design randomly due to non-Euclidean geometry. So this one stays still, which is good for you to map out and good for you to escape. But when you first get into the level, you'll be at the western side or the western wall, which is just the wall that leads to a hallway that dead ends. Now behind you on the other side of the room is another tiled wall with the mirror and the sink on it where the TV is. Behind that wall is the entrance to a very small crawl space area that's very dark with very bad vibes. The melting TV and the screen and stuff is on the sink wall with the mirror, and the TV is plugged directly into an outlet right next to the mirror. It is impossible to unplug this TV, no matter how hard you yank on that cord, it will not come out. You can't break it in half, you can't cut it, the cord is impenetrable, and the TV can never be turned off. The ceiling in this level is also very short, and anybody over 6 foot 2 has to crouch and kind of hunch over when they walk, which isn't a problem for me. Anyways, the dark energy and depressive vibe that I talked about earlier comes from the crawl space area and the walls. Now, it's really concentrated in this crawl space area, and it's more so than any other place in the level. The area down there is just pitch black and lifeless, and it's dark. You cannot see past your own hand, and you just don't know what's beyond that can't tell if there's an entity that lurks down there or if people are just making it up. Whatever it is, these weird energies and these dark feelings are coming out of this area. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Now the mirror above the sink behind the TV also has a few interesting quirks to it. 
One of them is if you touch it in any way, it'll disappear instantly and reveal an exit behind it. But not an exit from the level or anything, you're, you're not that lucky. It's just an exit to another exact copy of this level. It's like room inception, the level will just keep going on and on. Each room's mirror behaves the exact same way. If you walk up to it and touch it, it'll disappear and it'll reveal another room, just like the previous one, right behind it. So most of the rooms are the same, minus the fact that some of the rooms are more full of that liquid static that's coming from the TV than others, or there might be less lighting in different rooms. For example, one of the rooms that you might start in will just have the sink area being filled up by this TV juice, but the other room might have the juice all over the floor or wall. We have no clue how far the rooms expand, it might be infinite, it might not be, we don't know. So now I'm going to dive a little into what this TV staticky liquid might be. Now in the Backrooms canon, it's known as HXMI-12, because that's the text on top of the TV, but its real name is unknown. The static's physical form is a luminescent, light, pinkish, bluish liquid with a syrup-like consistency and texture. The liquid smells like burning plastic and ozone, and it has this really staticky and volatile aura around it. It's made out of what seems to be random chemicals, and it crackles and statics when it leaks more out of the TV. It also rapidly changes colors from pink to blue, and this kind of gives it a strobing effect that can make people sick if they watch it. So watch out for that. Now, if you come into contact with the static, it will instantly cause a harsh burning sensation to occur, almost like you just touched lava or something. Even though it's not hot at all to the touch, it's actually pretty cool, it feels like you're being burned. The burning sensation is not the worst part though, and in fact, it's just the beginning. So if you touch the liquid from this TV, after an unknown period of time, the liquid on your skin will begin to spread and consume and envelop you completely, until you become one with the static liquid and are just a static human like melting into the floor. This liquid leaks more and more from the TV the longer that you're stuck in the level, so the longer you stay, the more likely you are to get the static to touch you. It's kind of like floor is lava. So because of this, you'll need to escape as fast as possible, unless you want to turn into a liquid static human monster thing. Now, remember what I said that some of the rooms are coated with more of this liquid static? Yeah, those are the rooms you're going to want to avoid, because even touching a wall in that room that's covered in it with just a slight drop will have the same effect. You'll eventually be consumed. And the only way to counteract this melting static is by leaving the level, which I'm going to tell you how to do that right now. Wow, that was a really good segue to the next section. To exit, you have to touch a mirror and jump through it to different rooms until you find one that has a regular TV on the sink. Now, this TV will not be melting, it will not be broken, it will not be whatever. It is a regular looking TV with just random stuff playing on it. Once you find that, you need to run towards it and no clip through it to be sent to the next level. This is the only way you can escape and the only way you can avoid being melted into static. No clipping through walls or floors or anything else has not been proven to work and this is the only way you can do it. So you better hurry up and find it. So to enter the level, for whatever maniac wants to know, you can fall through the floorboards of the attic level to be sent here, or you have a chance to randomly glitch here just from being on level 10. So try to avoid those two levels so you don't get sent here, and so you don't get turned into static. Okay, also there's no colonies here course. That's it for the video. Thank you for everything you do. Check out Toogly and Spoogly for more content from your boy. Leave a like down below if you're feeling generous and leave a comment telling me which levels that you would like to see me cover. The good, the bad, the ugly levels. I'll do all of them. Let me know. Also, let me know what other series you'd like to see from me and everything like that. I'll be glad to implement some more series. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I will see you all in the next video on any one of my channels.